Bonjour tout le monde. Hello everyone. Comment ça va? How are you? Je pense que tout va bien. I hope that all is well. Bienvenue à mon chaîne. Welcome to my channel. Aujourd'hui, on va apprendre les couleurs. Today, we are going to learn the colors. La couleur est féminin. Les couleurs is plural. Okay? So, as we have the concept of masculine and feminine nouns in Hindi. Jaise Hindi mein sub nouns masculine or feminine hote hai. For example, आपकी गाड़ी होती है घर होता है इसी तरह से मेज होती है कुर्सी होती है ग्लास होता है तो इसी तरह से फ्रेंच में भी सारे नाउन्स मैस्किलिन या फेमिनिन होते हैं इन फ्रेंच ऑल दी नॉन लिविंग थिंग्स हैव अ जेंडर दे आर इधर मैस्किलिन और फेमिनिन तो जो मैस्किलिन नाउन्स होंगे उनके साथ वी आर गोइंग टू यूज मैस्किलिन फॉर्म ऑफ कलर एंड विद फेमिनिन नाउन्स वी आर गोइंग टू यूज फेमिनिन फॉर्म ऑफ द कलर फॉर एग्जांपल फर्स्ट वन इज ब्लू ब्लू इन फ्रेंच इज ब्ल एंड द फेमिनिन फॉर्म विल बी प्रोनाउंस्ड एज ब्ल मैस्किलिन फेमिनिन बोथ विल बी ब्ल इन प्रोनाउंसिएशन बट स्पेलिंग इज गोइंग टू बी चेंज्ड फेमिनिन वी आर गोइंग टू एड एन ई एट द एंड सेकेंड कलर इज ब्लैक विच इज नुआख तो मैस्किलिन फॉर्म एन ओ आई आर बट इन फेमिनिन फॉर्म एन ई इज गोइंग टू बी एडेड एट द एंड सो थर्ड Color is green. Green is ver, the masculine form, and feminine form will be vert. Now T will be pronounced as there is an E in the end in the feminine form. Fourth color is grey. Grey in French is gris, and in feminine form we are going to add an E in the end. right so how to make feminine forms by adding an e we have learned this now there is another group of colors which are same in masculine and feminine form okay so there is already an e in the masculine form so when we will make its feminine form jab hum masculine se feminine mein usko convert karenge ना कलर के नाम में कोई भी चेंज नहीं होगा फॉर एग्जाम्पल रूज रूज इज रेड रेड कलर को हम फ्रेंच में बोलते हैं रूज एंड इट इज ऑलरेडी एंडिंग विद ई तो फेमिनिन फॉर्म जो है वो सेम रहेगी फेमिनिन फॉर्म चेंज नहीं होगी सेकेंड कलर इज येलो येलो को फ्रेंच में हम बोलते हैं जोन जोन तो मैस्किलिन फॉर्म में ऑलरेडी ई e है तो फेमिनिन में स्पेलिंग सेम रहेगी थर्ड कलर इज पिंक पिंक इन फ्रेंच इज रोज सो इट्स ऑल्सो एंडिंग इन ई सो नो चेंजेस व्हेन वी विल मेक इट्स फेमिनिन फॉर्म सो आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड टिल हेयर नाउ देयर इज अ थर्ड कैटेगरी ऑफ कलर्स व्हिच चेंजेस अ लॉट द स्पेलिंग्स चेंज अ लॉट इन द फेमिनिन फॉर्म लेट्स गिव अ लुक The first color is white. White in French is blanc. But in feminine form, we will not only add e, but we will add h also. ठीक है? तो feminine form में spelling बन जाएगी b l a n c h e. Okay, and it will be pronounced as blanche. The next color in the same category is violet. Violet in French is violet, violet, and its feminine form will be violette. So it will also take an extra 
T. Now there is a fourth category of colors which do not change in spellings when we convert them into feminine. Okay. For example, orange. Orange. Orange in masculine and feminine will remain the same. Okay. And in the same category, we have another color which is maroon, which in French is marron. And it will remain same in both masculine and feminine form. No changes will be done to the color. Right? I hope you have understood till here. Now, let's move on to the next part where uh, we have two more colors, silver and gold. Silver color in French is l'argent. L'argent. Okay? And gold is l'or. L'or. Clear till here? Okay. Now, let's move on to the next part where uh, we can talk about the colors as dark and light. Jab hume kisi color ko bolna hai, jase dark green. So, if we want to say dark green, we'll say vert foncé. Green, dark. So, we'll not say dark green. In French, we will say green, dark. Foncé is the word for dark. Example, le chapeau est vert foncé. And if we want to say light green, so it's vert clair. Okay, now it's the exercise time. Let's try to answer the question. Okay, and the question is, you have to take the correct option. Okay, le soleil est dash. So, which will be the correct spelling? Jaune. Yes, this will be the correct spelling. Second, la mer a dash. Which spelling is correct? Yes, B L E U E. Very good. Third question, la nuit a dash. Which is the correct option? Yes, you are right. N O I R E. E because night is feminine. La nuit. Okay. Fourth now. La neige a dash. I hope you have marked the right answer which is blanche. La neige is feminine. So we will put feminine form of fight. Next is le dra a dash. Mark the correct option. Yes. Blanc, B-L-A-N-C, because le dra is masculine, so we will use masculine form. And the last is, c'est la couleur dash. So, which is the correct option? Vert or vert? Yes, the correct option has to be vert, because la couleur is feminine, so, we will use the feminine form. Now, let's move on to the next section. Okay. So, as we have understood how we have to convert a color from masculine to feminine. Similarly, we also should know how to convert a masculine singular form into masculine plural form. Okay. Jaisi mein aapko bataya ki hum color ko मैस्किलिन और फेमिनिन फॉर्म में अलग अलग लिखते हैं इसी तरह से इफ आर नाउन इज सिंगुलर देन सिंगुलर फॉर्म ऑफ द कलर विल बी यूज्ड बट इफ आर नाउन इज फेमिनिन देन फेमिनिन फॉर्म ऑफ द कलर विल बी यूज्ड सिमिलरली इफ इट्स प्लूरल देन प्लूरल फॉर्म ऑफ द कलर विल बी यूज्ड दैट मींस देयर विल बी फोर फॉर्म्स ऑफ कलर्स मैस्किलिन सिंगुलर फेमिनिन सिंगुलर Masculine plural and feminine plural. Let's take an example of color blue. In masculine singular will be blur. Feminine singular will be blur. Pronunciation will remain the same but spellings are going to change. There will be an extra E as you have already done. 
Now comes the masculine plural form. The pronunciation will again remain the same blur because the S in the end will not be pronounced in French. Okay, so we are going to add an extra S at the end to make singular form into plural form. The last part is feminine plural form. So the feminine singular was B-L-E-U-E. -E. We are going to add an extra S at the end of feminine singular form to make it feminine plural form. Now let's try to make a few sentences using these colors so that we understand how they are changing the form. The first sentence is using masculine singular form. Le stylo est bleu. Le stylo is masculine singular. So we have used masculine singular form of the color as well. The next sentence is made using feminine singular form which is La robe est bleu. La robe, the dress. The dress is feminine in French. So the feminine form of the color will be used. The third sentence is made using masculine plural form. Les stylos sont bleus. Les stylos sont bleus. So now the masculine plural form of the noun will be used. And the fourth sentence is Les robes sont bleus. B-L-E-U-E-S because les robes, they are, this is feminine plural noun. So we are going to use feminine plural form of the color. So I hope you have understood. Now let's try to practice these transformation of color from masculine to feminine, from singular to plural with help of another exercise. Okay. Let's do it together. The first sentence is Le crayon est dash. Le crayon est dash. So which color will be the correct one? Vert. V-E-R-T. We were supposed to write green. Okay. The second sentence is Le livre. Le livre est dash. Color that we have to use here is black. So, what will be the correct answer? N-O-I-R. Noir. Okay. Let's try to do another one. La trousse est dash. Now, la trousse is feminine. And the color that we have to use is white. So, what will be the correct spellings of the color? It will be blanche. B-L-A-N-C-H-E. Blanche. Okay. Now, let's go on to the next one. Le livre sans dash. And the color that has to be used again is black. Now, masculine plural form of the black will be used. So, it will be N-O-I-R-S. Let's do another one. Les trousses. Les trousses sont. The pencil boxes are dash. So now again I am using white color. So what will be the right spelling? B-L-A-N-C-H-E-S. Now feminine plural form of the color will be used. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you have liked the video, please hit the like button. And share it with other learners as well. And please subscribe to the channel if you have not yet done that. Thank you so much. Take care. Au revoir. Bye bye. A bientôt. See you soon.